Hello, my name is Fritz Schäfer. I work for Mammut. I'm the product manager for the climbing equipment, ranging from harnesses to metallics, helmets and ropes. And I'm going to show you our new Ophir line. With the Ophir line, we feature a technology that Mammut first introduced in 2010. It's the two-part webbing construction. So inside the hip belt and the leg loops, we have a webbing that runs uh, through at the lower edge of the harness and another one that runs through at the upper edge of the harness. And by this, we reach a really even pressure distribution all over the harness. So the, uh, they are by far the most comfortable harnesses out there. And in addition to that, we can use the space in between those webbings to create withability. So here we have mesh fabrics uh, that allow you to breathe while climbing. Um, the Ophir harnesses also feature a lot of special Mammut technologies. For instance, the protector. This is abrasion protection, so this plastic part uh, prevents the tie-in point from wearing off. We have the indicator tie-in loop. The indicator webbing is a webbing with a red core, so when the tie-in loop wears through, the red core will show through and indicates uh, that the harness must be replaced. We offer the Ophir harnesses as a three slide version, so you have the adjustable leg loops here. This actually is the Ophir three slide, that's the women's version. The same harness exists as a male version as well, uh, which we call Ophir three slide. This is Ophir, the one for men with the bright neon gear loops here. It's more or less the same harness, only difference is that we don't have adjustable leg loops and then we have Ophira, which is the women's version. The difference between male and female harnesses is uh, the shape of the hip belt. So on the women's we have a slightly different angle so that it fits to the women's hip a little better and the tie-in loop on the women's harnesses is longer than on the men's in order to uh, have a little more space between hip belt and leg loops. And then there's the Ophir 4 slide, that's a fully adjustable harness, so you have the adjustable leg loops here, but you also have two slide block buckles on the hip belt, which allow you to, um, on the one hand, to totally uh, symmetrically adjust the harness, so you won't end up with uh, some gear loops being in the front and others being in the back. It's totally symmetrical. Another advantage here is that we can cover the whole size range with only two sizes of harnesses. So here we have sizes uh, extra small to medium, medium to large, uh, whereas with all the other harnesses we, had, we have each single size. The update on the Ophir line from first to second generation is the protector itself. In the past we used a pretty stiff plastic protector here and we got some feedback from our athletes but as well from end consumers that sometimes this stiff protector would be in your way or would um, limit your freedom of movement a little so we changed the material here completely and now we have a really soft protector here that allows for a better freedom of movement and the second uh, bigger change is that we changed the gear loops in the past or on the first generation of the Ophi harnesses we had plastic gear loops here now we went for these woven gear loops that's on the one hand, it is design decision, but also functionality because the shape of these uh, is shaped so that uh, carabiners with a wire gate that don't have a key lock won't catch on these gear loops. So you can easily clip and unclip. All feature a uh, drop seat buckle that you can easily clip and unclip. Uh, adjustability, as I mentioned before, we have uh, three different models. We have the ones with the fixed leg loops, we have the ones with the adjustable leg loops, and then we have the four slide, which is fully adjustable with also four buckles on the hip belt.